Oh, look at the cute Bowser face. He's very chubby in this game. Yeah. What is his voice again? Goops, my lad. Is that it? No. A little bit more gruff? I don't remember. Oh. Not that gruff. Are <laughs> oh, you telling me that more is art that you're going with Mario? <laughs> Um, that's right, Dad. I'm going to continue traveling with Mario. Sorry about my voice before. I hooked Elidus. And then I'm... Well, I'm going to come back a strong Koop like you, Dad. Nicely said, young Koops. That's my boy. But always remember this. You are my son, Koops. And I'm your father. Koops, my sweet. I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. Um, may I just add, if anything happens, you can always come home, Koops. Don't you ever forget that. Uh, this village will always be your home. Just like it was for old man Scoo. No, we hate Scoo. The second I won the mayoral election, <laughs> I deported him to Thailand. <laughs> I mean, Roadport. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Well... I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So where are we going? Let's head back to Rogueport. Remember, Mario? No! The bearer of the magical map shall unfurl it before the thousand-year door. When this is done, the star shall guide the bearer to the crystal star with pure light. And it didn't stop there. Each crystal star shall point to the next. That's what the book says. Which means if we take the crystal star we found back to the thousand year door. So that means the location of the next crystal, crystal star will appear on that magic map? You just got it, Coops. Exactly. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm going to point it out, but Coops. I don't know if Coops is just intended to just be smaller in stature or I think so. if he's just like still younger than all the, the other Koopas. Well, I mean, I think, like, that's an adult Koopa. Koops is, like, a teenager. Yeah, maybe. Um, like, real quick. I mean, yes. like, he was, like, Koops' dad was gone for 10 years. So, like, how old would Koops be, like, 15? I suppose that's true. Maybe. In here, we have uh, the best badge in the game. Fuck yeah. As a kid, I definitely didn't respect it, and I uh, would oh, assume... Yeah. A lot of casual players also don't because in order to get the most out of it you do need a, i mean it's risky you you need to feel uh comfortable with basically every, any encounter the game can throw at you mm -hmm. um but it is like the the skill versus use gap is like insane mm -hmm. if you have the skill the use just skyrockets yeah it's like it's like a typical risk reward except mm -hmm. it's risk massive reward mm -hmm. but i mean you know when you're first playing this game you're like risk oh no yeah exactly because it's scary having mario at one hp well partner at one hp mario are you okay you're totally shaking you need a bathroom uh yeah i switched even below <laughs> for that line because i remember that <laughs> i saw like how it's a mario world uh theme oh is that a mailbox sp cool with the light Hey, who's that mail from? Just a subtle ad for the Game of Advance SP. Yeah. It has a backlight, guys. Technology that that we that could have existed on the original model. But is it but is it the first version where it's just a light shining on the screen, or is yeah, it the, the later model where it's actually a backlit screen? Yeah, no, it's probably uh, the first model, mm -hmm. the gray one. Yeah. My dearest Mario, I send this letter in the hope that it reaches you safely. I'm being held against my will in some strange place. Uh, I remember a dumb meme where it's like what we see and then what Mario sees and basically he's holding the GBA oh, fan he and he just nose. sees his nose. <laughs> <laughs> though, I do not know, though I do not know where I am, I remain unharmed and in relative comfort. I even have a shower. Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent you earlier. They may be hoping to use it to find object they call the Crystal Stars. I do not know what they are planning, but I have a feeling it is not anything positive. Mario, please collect these crystal stars before they do. You must! 
I'll try. Wahoo. They are already aware that you have the map, so please be very careful. And please, don't worry about me, Princess Peach. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wait, wait a second. Is it that from Princess Peach? The princess? Actually, the fact that we trust this, I feel like this is kind of sus. I mean, true. So that means she's okay. At least she's not hurt. Wow. But it sounds like whoever kidnapped Princess Peach is also after the Crystal Stars. That is true. Actually, you seem like a good Goomba to show off our new special move. <gasps> I think it's interesting that the first special move you get at the door, but then this one you get after getting the Crystal Star. I guess it makes sense, but... Well, yeah, I mean, you go to the door and I feel like the map activates when you go to the Maybe. door for the first yeah, time. And only true. then it's like actually magical. Uh, Earth That's... Remember is literally one of the best star powers yeah. in the game. It remains solid for like the entire it's like game. immediately you get... Yeah, immediately you just get like a mainstay. I mean, it requires a little bit of skill. And basically, this bar fills, you press the button. When it gets to the light, you do this six times. And for every time... Oh, well, never mind. You don't do it six times. <laughs> and for every time you fill the bar, it'll do one extra damage and it'll go higher. So if you hit it, I think, only twice, you don't actually hit flying enemies. Mm -hmm. uh, so later there's going to be enemies on the ceiling. They are decently rare, but I think for that you need to hit five bars. I think so. Like and usually you... five bars is guaranteed, even though I didn't right there. Shut the fuck up. You judging me in the comments? How about how about you judge me some more in the comments? How about in the comments you tell... You just you just write, write now, write down. You're really bad at this game and you just pretend you're good. And that's why you need to do a casual playthrough. Because that's the only way you can play, because you're bad. <laughs> Watch me! Can you do that? I don't think so. Goombel is not so good at it, but mm. she tries. I mean, she has little legs. She can jump as good. That's true. Well, I don't know. Look, watch this. That's a good jump. That's a pretty fucking good jump, Lenny. But I'm also going to do this. <gasps> What's this? It's also something I grew out of, but as a kid, I loved this. Now it just kind of messes with my strategies, but, you know, since it's casual, who cares? I always love it. This is, well, actually, who is this? That's the charmer, Merle. She's bright and cheery, huh? He, he, he. If you have her charm you, you'll receive various bonuses in battle. Woohoo. They're super helpful. So next time you have a chance, be sure to take her to have her charm you. And dance. Oh, and I hear she's the twin sister of Merlevely, the fortune teller. Hooey. Hello. We're under the folks up top in my fortune telling shop. I see your fortune, but stop. If you wish to talk to me across the table, you must be. Thank you. Really? Golly gee. She, she, wow, I didn't know that. She <laughs> even does this in this game where it's always golly gee. <laughs> All right, golly gee. Hello. Welcome. I'm really underground. Cute as can be a fortune teller. That is me. Lucky for you coming here. I tell fortunes, have no fear. <laughs> Let my mystic power tell of days to come. More as well. Oh wait. Let, let my mystic powers tell of days to come. More as well. For luck sits on my spells. What? what uh, she just didn't rhyme the last sentence? So, I mean, let my mystic power tells of more days to come. More as wells. <laughs> Yeah. What do you say, Mr. Guy? Want to give it a try? What does she say when it's a girl? What do you say, Mr. Girl? Want to give it a whirl? Nice. There we go. I got it. That's good. That's great. Choose your path to fate. Which path do you choose, you silly goose? Uh, I'm going to take this moose and turn it into meese. Um, I'll do, I'll do special. I always felt like a special kind of guy. Okay, that's fine by me. So ready? Ready for me? Okay, here we go. Wee. 
Here we go, GameCube. Mario just starts puking. Yeah, this uh, spell animation, uh, I like. To this day, I think the sixty-four one is still the best in like all of the, the games. It definitely is. I think like this one fits the vibe of the game more, where it's more about like oh the mysterious magic of the door mm -hmm. and everything. But like you know, the stuff with the cards is just really fun. Yeah, and the music is weak, super cool. My mystic power can make you smile. In battle, you'll win with style. Even if nasty foes arrive, you'll be fine since my fortune will thrive. Okay, come again. See you soon. See you then. Goodbye. <laughs> Please don't pull out all the stops. Do it again oh. and I'll call the cops. Okay. But I, I'm not really good at rhyming. Wahoo. We'll check out Rogue first. Yeah. And see what Frankly says. Oh no, there's one thing I, I want to do before doing that. Don't look at the green guy, he's not there. Actually, what am I saying? The green guy's always been there. Because we were just talking about the card animation, right? Mm -hmm. um, this is something not many people might have used. But this is... more lovely, I think? Yeah. Wait, hold up. I, I'll tattle her first. That's the fortune teller, Mer Lovely. She's kind of mysterious, as you'd expect. She divines the locations of things, or where we should go. People say she's always right. And they say she's really cute under that veil. I hear some people even fall for her. <laughs> some people fall for her? That is ridiculous. Who would fall for anyone? What does that even mean, Gumbella? So when she tells your fortune, she's like, "You'll fall in love with me." Then you, then you, then your line can be <laughs> already happened. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Seeing with my amazing abilities, that which you seek is my humble job. So, shall I see something for you? I see you. So you can ask her my next path, which is basically, "What, what do I do?" And she's pretty thorough because I remember. Uh, the Hooktail Castle thing with the windows I actually came here to figure it out. Because mm. back in the day, it was really hard to find the stuff on the internet. You can ask her for star pieces if you're missing star pieces, which is nice. And same for shine sprites. So the two collectibles, mm -hmm. very nice. Let's let's ask her about our next path. What are we going to do? Oh, your next path? Ah, I understand. I shall look for what you seek. Hocus pocus focus! Cabra dabra hullabaloo! Pacapooka peekaboo! Ah, stars, show me what I seek! I don't know if that's like real magic. Hmm. Like this uses cards. True. I see. Your destined path. You stand on the dais before the large underground door. Then the way opens. Wait, the door's gonna open? Ah! Uh -huh. Shall I see anything else for you? No, thank you. Ah! Uh -huh. Is that so? Well, if there is ever anything you want to find, just and you ask. always go. Ah! Uh -huh. That's kind of creepy. Ah! Uh -huh. Ah! Uh -huh. She comes every time she tells a fortune. Oh God. Sometimes at night, she reads her own fortune. Oh. <laughs> anyway, what about the green guy? Who is he? Who is this guy? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Oh, come on, you really need to ask me that? Give me a break, it's your brother Luigi! Oh my god! But I wonder why he's here. I'm sure he'll tell you if you ask him. But... Okay, guess I'll ask him. Hey, well, hey, big brother. Fancy meeting you here. What a quickie dig. Uh, who, me? I can't wait for Luigi to listen to Luigi's stories and have his like, oh, yeah. voice, uh, voice line sound be. <laughs> <laughs> well, bro, I'm on an adventure. I have to rescue Princess Eclair from the Waffle Kingdom. Oh, nice. 
Yeah, it's a bad scene, all right. She's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. Ooh. If you gotta know, I met with some Waffle Kingdom cabinet members the other day. <laughs> cabinet members? It was pretty crazy, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. This sounds like a, a like a made-up YouTuber story. Dude, it was pretty crazy, bro. <laughs> I mean, tell me about it. Hey, it sounds good to me. Which part of my story do you want to hear, bro? Um, that one. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. Mm -hmm. My big brother, that's you, bro, got a letter from Princess Peach and took off. Left behind as usual, I was cooking a snack at home when another letter arrived. We don't get so much mail, so I was thinking, huh? This is what the letter said. Sirs, my name is Crepe. I'm a cabinet minister in the far off Waffle Kingdom. Our land has been attacked by the Chestnut King, who took our, took our Princess Eclair. I asked Nay Beg for your assistance. The Waffle Kingdom needs your skills. I humbly request your prompt response, sirs. Sincerely, Crepe. Well, I don't remember it exactly, but I think it went something like that. <laughs> uh -huh. With Mario, that's you, bro, gone, it fell to me to answer this plea. Hesitating only a teensy bit, I headed to the Waffle Kingdom to investigate. Oh no, first I wrote a note to myself about what I was cooking, then I left. Once I reached the Waffle Kingdom, I met Minister Crepe, who filled me in. The Chestnut King had kidnapped Princess Eclair and vanished. Apparently though, some oracle said a marvelous compass could locate her. This marvelous compass had been broken into seven parts by an oh, ancient dang. curse. Seven? Seven again? And those parts had been scattered all across the land. Can you believe it, bro? Each part of the marvelous compass was set to point to the next. And since one of the parts was embedded in the tiara worn by the princess, I surmised that once I collected all the parts, I'd find her, smart huh? The minister gave me the compass base spoken of in Waffler Fables. <laughs> Waffler Fables. <laughs> Waffler Fables and the... The... the uh, what's it called again? Wait, what? Bug Fables? Everlasting Sapling, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Waffler Fables and the Everlasting Syrup. <laughs> Pancake. Pancake. It's pointing me toward Rumble Bump Volcano on the Pudding Continent. So yeah, here I am. I'm sailing out of Rogueport for Rumble Bump Volcano. It's probably gonna be pretty dangerous, but I gotta rescue that princess. Yeah, interesting. If you wanna hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. Cool. I love how he just adds so many unnecessary details to his story. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, I wrote myself a note about what I was cooking. Oh, Gappy Goombas! You've got a crystal star! Yeah, I said that when he got it. That's my job. Magnificent, Mario! I knew you could do it. First, you must take that down to the thousand-year door. Then we'll talk. All right. Were you, were you reading this? Please don't stand on my desk. That's very rude. Were you reading this? I was, actually. Join now I'll have to... I have to clean it from all the mud on your shoes. Hey, there's no mud on my shoes. I keep them very clean. Oh, sorry about that, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, something else I want to show here. Uh, it's going to take a little longer than it would have otherwise, but I'm still going to do it. I should have just battled them in the prologue, but anyway. Well, well hold up now. I forgot the voice, but I'm just going to come up with something new. I can take you. What? You gotta be kidding! You think you can fight your way through here? Yeah, I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy! Let's get this party started! Let's get it started in here. Also, something about Gus that you can barely hear is that whenever he yeah. puts a spear down, it actually makes a noise. I think it's such a weird detail mm -hmm. that they put that in and it's barely audible. Yeah, I'm just gonna tattle Gus and then not battle Gus. Oh. That's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. Max is 20, that's pretty big. Attack is 3. Yeah, all, all in all, he's pretty tough. 
Oh, and I've told you a million times, that pointy spear of his hurts if you stomp on it. I don't know how I feel about that. Just don't aim for the spear. I wonder if this guy watches people pass three, 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. <laughs> Were you about to say 365 days a week? Because, <laughs> boy, then he would be a workaholic. That's a long week. Alright. And we're just gonna... Yo, this guy is beating me up, dude. Hey, are you okay? Are you okay? You're not hitting your action commands. Like, try to guard, okay? Excuse me, I'm hitting that swap <laughs> command perfectly. Okay, I mean, it's, he attacks very fast, so it's hard. It's hard to hit the guard, but I know you can do it. Oh, come on, Gus. Okay, wait, okay, wait, that's a new attack. Okay, we gotta get used to those timings. There we go. Ha! Huh, that hurt! You have no chance of beating me, trust me. So, you'd better run. Now, if you don't, seriously, it'll be game over for you. You can choose to run from the tactics menu. Sometimes, it's best to run. So yeah, Gus is actually intended to be the run tutorial. Because if you go come here and from the you're start... Like, yeah, I can like, take you on. And I can you take you and it's like, oh fuck, this guy's actually really tough. And you're like, you know... Oh, and his run bar starts full. That's also a thing, apparently. Ha! Hmm. <laughs> Learn your lesson? Prediction. You'll never try to fight through here again. I think you just had a triple helping of humble pie. So I'll let this slide. Now take off! Yeah, it's, I think it's implied later in the game, too, but Gus is actually kind of a nice guy. Yeah. He just has the tough guy attitude to keep people out because, you know, he's part of the Robos. Anyway, let's uh, let's actually beat him this time. I'll quickly eat a mushroom for safety. Because when else am I going to use that mushroom? <laughs> True. Truly, golly gee. And then let's... Uh... I can take you. What, again? Because I was fooling you. I can actually do these commands perfectly. Watch this. I didn't even need to switch to Gumbella to do that. There we go. And all the stylish is too. Delicious. Alright. So dead. You're so dead. Am I allowed to super guard? Of course. Thank you. I mean, I want to keep the super guards to a minimum in this playthrough. Like, we need to give him some humble pie. Yeah, exactly. Get humbled from the bingo! That was nice. I needed that. Maybe I'll even use a sweet treat to get some HP back. Oh, shit. Nice. So, yeah, here we have the spell activating already. And right now, it's going to reduce damage I take by three. So I'm not going to guard. Boom. He still laughed. I like that. Oh, I could finish him with Earth Tremor. Oh. <laughs> then he did no damage and he's finished by Earth Tremor. I feel like that's some humble pie. Yeah, do it. That is fucked. That is just booed. This is Magical MacGuffin, Gus. <laughs> like, imagine this is just happening, and Gus be like, wait, what's, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's just like, this is this guy's job, he's just trying to do his job, keeping people out. Yeah, and then suddenly you, you bring out magical artifacts. There just keeps growing. <laughs> he was not prepared for this. I don't think he was. Poor Gus. I feel for him. You dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff, it's ridiculous! You think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh? Don't you? <laughs> He's kind of right, you know. Anyway, now that we're in the uh, part of town, the Robo's part of the town, let's, 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 let's uh, visit some thugs. Well, never mind then. Man, there must be some pretty strong thug living in here. Hey, who are you? <gasps> hey, this area is the turf of Ishnail and the Rabo Band of Thieves. Mm -hmm. I don't know what brings you here, but if you think you're gonna meet the boss, ha! Wait, so this guy is also part of the Rabos? 
The east side has come of the worst crime anywhere in Rockport. Man, everyone who lives around here is real tough and three smart too. Me! <laughs> I mean, when you don't have any money, you gotta be tough just to get by. Or at least got some Scooby Snacks. This guy has a name. That's Arthur. He's always hanging around here. That's kind of a cute name for this guy, Arthur. He looks totally suspicious, but apparently he lives by some super stern moral code. That's nice. What about the thief? I mean, the bandit. Why, why do the robos lock up all their doors? Are they smart bandits? You want to know his that? That's Swindell. 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 Swindell, the bandit. At least I hear he's a thief, but I've never seen him steal. Uh-huh. He's always whispering to Arthur about something. See, Ooh. this is like some subtle... Uh, you don't need to do that, you know. Oh. He just backed off. Mm. Now, this is like subtle, cute world building where these yeah. guys are next to each other and it's like, you know. Yeah, and these two guys interact. are like, they're up to something. Like they, yeah. they work together or something. Right here, it's I'm nice. not going to do this, uh, but you can actually get to this side of the fence earlier than you're supposed to by reading text. It's locked. You can't open it. Bye. If you do just right, you can jump on this lock and jump over. And then you can be here and do things, but I'm not doing that because it's unintentional. Yeah, we're I do like doing this things legit. Because I think if these footsteps weren't here, it definitely oh. wouldn't be clear enough. Oh, I would never figure it out. Yeah. We can slip through here and get into the back alleys, question mark. Hello. If you've come all the way here, you must have seen some serious dangerous action. That's good. Danger's good. Believe me, I know. What? Mm. You're scary, Pierre. Huh, wee wee. That's Pierre. He sure does seem to have a lot of free time, don't, doesn't he? Where it is, he's been busting his tail lately to catch the eye of the crime boss, Ishnail. <laughs> so he's just chilling outside of his door? Like, maybe he'll he'll walk outside and I can say hi, and he'll and he'll hire me. Maybe sen <laughs> Senpai Ishnail will notice me today. So wait, is Gus in here now? No, that's, that's Garth. Garth, part of the Robo gang. I'm pretty sure he's related to Gus. Mm-hmm. I hope the guy on the right is Gus. He looks pretty gnarly, but he's actually pretty cool. Don't judge folks on looks. Hey, we don't have much here, but make yourself at home if you want. Wow, he is nice. I love that. Yay, it's Gus! I love him. Hey, cutie. That's Gus. He's part of that band of themes who call themselves the Robos. He looks like a total maniac. He's actually a nice guy. Don't judge books by covers. What are you gonna talk to me like nothing happened? Like there was no <laughs> beating. Yeah, guys like you act real cool when you win, but when you lose, you're all way. I like these guys. They're cute. Hmm. Well, you want chump? If you ain't got business here, then beat it. I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess this guy is Ishnail. Why is it? Why would that be? Because he looks like a snail ish. Oh, ish snail. <laughs> so is this intended to be like a weird Koopa that's a snail? Yeah, like I always Instead thought it was shell? super random. It's like, oh, there's randomly like a snail guy. That's a snail. Leader of the thief band called the Robos. He really hates Don Piazza. Ah, uh, yeah, I, re I read in the pamphlet about Roport that the syndicate is on the west side. Kind of weird that they just mentioned that in the promotional pamphlet, but, you know. I guess that's to be expected, since they're bitter rivals and everything. He's got some issues about money, but he's okay otherwise. Who knew? That bored me, Gumbella. He wanted like some saucy details and then it's like, oh, he's actually kind of a nice guy. I do like that basically all the crime in Rogueport, we're going to see more of that later, is basically done by kind of nice guys, but they live in Rogueport, so they just, you know, to get by, yeah, they have to do crime. Or, well, they feel like they have to, probably. They're victims of circumstance. Hello, good sir. Can you teach me something? You look like you don't know nothing. You've got to replenish both HP and FP, and are better than recovery blocks. That's Insel true, actually. Refill all your star power, too. That's why. Recovery blocks won't, genius. That's not a bad uh, piece of advice, actually. That's something I always forget that 
Hard blocks don't uh, recover star power, but beds mm. do. Oh, we already saw that. I thought it would have different text. Oh, what are you doing? Out? Oh, hello! Who are Ooh. you? I love you! Lovely mustache. That guy's Charlington. He's a salesman from way far away. His prices are steep, but he's normally got rare items and pretty unusual badges. He might even have a few completely unique items that he dug up somewhere. Literally dug up? Tell me about it. Hey, hey, hey yo! I've got all the hottest Purdue products right here! Look no further! You got the fever look of a man with a mind for goods! Wanna buy something? Nah. Dang, I'm one coin short for repel cape. Yeah, Charlton can sell a bunch of weird... Well, just a bunch... Uh, uh, what do you say? A, a hodgepodge of random shit? <laughs> uh, a menagerie. Um, uh, yeah, of random shit. Uh, but usually it's... Decently expensive, and I don't have a lot of coins, but uh, I'll check him again later. Because he does have badges that mm -hmm. are quite fun and useful. I've already forgot his voice. Oh, uh, no more shopping. Uh, limit time over. Come back real soon, all right? Why are you outside? Did, did your, your brother lock you out? All right! I did, I did get a contact lens on back order. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, lovely. Wait, hold up. Wait, wait, does Contact it lens. drop it on the counter? An aid for, for poor vision. Does Mario really need this? <laughs> Thanks. Wait, it's only 10 coins. It's, even. it's not even in like a box or something. They just nah. drop a contact lens like pfft, on the counter. That's not there it is. like at least. No, it's fine. We got to remember to clean it before we use it. Octail terrorizing <laughs> Petal Meadows. If it sees you, pretend to be a cricket or something. You know, Koopy Goo, the famously headstrong Koopa. I saw her crying. A traveling toad. That's just rude. Uh, like, imagine just writing down, like, look, hey, you know that person? I saw them crying. Ooh, I saw them crying. Ooh. Also, Char um, not Charlton. Polly's best customer is this guy. So he's the guy that's always into women. Hmm. So I guess I'll oh, take yeah, over the voice. Wait, no, is he not going to talk about women? <gasps> oh, wait. Don't talk to me. My heart's burning for my long-lost love. Oh, Mrs. Mouse, you sly, slutty little thief. I hope you're doing well wherever you I are. I think it said sultry. I think it's a slutty Lenny. It's definitely in a Nintendo game. Actually, why am I even coming here? It's not like I can buy badges. Yeah, you don't have the money. A hey, rude line. Let's check out what he has. I'm buying. I think that last stand is new. I don't really need anything. I think Sleepy Stomp is also new. Uh, it's not a halfway. It it's it is a halfway decent badge. I was gonna say it's not a halfway bad badge, but that, that <laughs> would sound kind of weird. Also, did you know about this? But you can walk behind the scanner and oh super my god weird. it's super weird why is that possible like in in the in this shop you can't watch that is very strange actually thank you did you bring in my contact lens mr squishy is that because i'm fat yes i do have a contact lens it was on the counter and everything <gasps> a contact lens oh sweet relief thank you Finally, the world, is, the world is crisp and clear again. I can see. Oh, I'm so happy. Be careful from now on. People don't generally like having their stuff stomped on. Okay. Do you want to say it again to me? You, 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 uh, you, a little bit? <laughs> like, imagine she goes in and suddenly the door's open. Like, what did you say to me? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? And she's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, so it's you again, huh, Mr. Stompalot? Well, my name is Zesty. I may not look like a chef, but I'm actually quite good. If you bring me ingredients, my cooking skills burst to life and culinary magic happens. Want me to whip something up for you right now? Sure. What ingredients would you like me to cook with? So, uh, just like in Super, I am going to do all recipes here. Mm. Uh, but we'll need a lot more ingredients to do that. So yeah. I might not do that much cooking until we can do the whole thing. And then yeah. we'll do another food reading episode, I guess. 
Yeah, but we can make some nice stuff, like a turtle leaf. That might be nice. Sing, Lenny. Doodle dee doodle da. Why is she frying the leaf? It's time to keep you waiting. Not entirely sure I like it, but go on, take it, Stumpy! Cooper tea! So why is it not turtly tea? Like, at least then they'd had have the alliteration. Yeah. God damn it. Lenny, I'm so upset about the name change, and then they didn't stick to the name change. I think if you cook a horse tail, it becomes nothing. Oh, really? That's weird. Yeah. Hmm. I'll do the mushroom. Yeah. Oh, before, before she's ready, Lenny, is it a shroom fry or a fried shroom? Shroom fry. I think it's a fried shroom. No, it's shroom fry in this game. Yeah, it is. And then, I know it's going to sound weird, but I'm going to cook the live shroom because... <gasps> I mean, it's it's gonna sound weird, but it's something I did as a kid because I was like, well, this is 10 HP if I die, but I never die. And when you cook it, it becomes way better. So I think that is just a better item. Mm -hmm. As long as you can plan. And I guess it's kind of true, but then again... Like, if you plan and you can always heal perfectly, like when you need to, it's fine. But I mean, you never know. Maybe at some point, oh, oops, something goes wrong and you die. And this is pretty decent. It's very decent. Yeah. And I think that's about all I can cook. I guess like, I'll cook my other uh, turtle leaf. Yeah, like right now, 15 HP, 5 FP, that's a good heal. Mm -hmm. It is for live stream though. Because uh, that's the same as the hot room in Paper Mario 64. And uh, there you can cook those from Volt rooms, but in this game you can't. That's, that's also a thing. Uh, in the Japanese version, there were a lot more valid recipes. And in the English version, they made a lot of recipes worse. Because, for example, in Paper Mario 64, you can cook a live stream with like a, uh, a strange leaf or a Koopa leaf and a motorcycle. Um, wow. A Koopa leaf and a Voltrum, I think. And that that is also in this game, but only in Japanese version. So they like made a lot of recipes worse just so you can't just farm life streams like that, mm. for example. I need, I need a bit more money. I guess I'll sell some of that food somebody cooked for me. Well, actually, let's do that in the new shop. Oh, true. I know there's a new shop here because I saw the sign. That's the only reason I know there's a new shop. Hello, new shop. This is my favorite shop. <laughs> I think it's also funny how in the Japanese yes. version, it's actually bunny ears. But then mm -hmm. he changes it. And they're like cat ears. That's better. Yeah. That's Pika. A boo that works at the West Side Goods. She's so pretty. I mean, for a boo. Excuse me? What does that even mean? I think her sister, La sister's Lala, the boo who works at the Pianta parlor. I think she would be cuter if she was a light shade of pink, though. Um, that said, she literally just has Bo's face. Mm -hmm. I think this just might be Bo recolored. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, it, it, like for example, that like you said, the bunny ears. Do you think in the remake she's gonna have bunny ears? I think so. Oh, sh hmm, true. Like, why wouldn't she, right? Maybe she will. Yeah. I'll sell... I'm not... Oh God, she, I'll she, sell she call us a cutie. Oh, did she? Well, she probably has to for her boss. Oh, true. You always have to flatter the customers, you know? Yeah, exactly. Oh my God, you can buy dry shrooms? Yum. Yeah, in this game, if you cook a whole shroom, you just get the shroom fried. So it's, it's really not that good. Anyway, bye, cutie. <laughs> All right, let, what's all this about West Side being dangerous? Oh, another day, another stupid losing lottery ticket. I mean, I know. I heard lotteries are, are scams, so this one probably isn't any different. But I'm sure I'll win tomorrow. Yeah, I'll, I'll be back tomorrow. I, I'll be here until tomorrow. Wait, that's, that's a problem. I almost fell down that great. Man, that was close. I know where the thing leads to, too. All too well, and I oh, well, they go out of the He's playing it. Up. Wait, title them. Jeez, guy. Why, why, <laughs> are you, are you, Lenny, why do you want to know about this kid? Are you a pedophile or something? <laughs> That's an neighborhood kid. He seems to like going out and exploring new places. But he does seem to have a gripe about his family. I wonder what it is. Maybe they like grapes. Hmm. This guy really likes 
No, he totally loves the Happy Lucky Lottery. He wakes up each day with one thing on his mind. That day's winning number. What's this I hear about a Happy Lucky Lottery? New day, new chance. That's Lucky, who runs the Happy Lucky Lottery. Mm -hmm. He's a real stickler for the rules, so if he catches you cheating... Well, just be careful, Mario. That's a gimmick I don't think I'll be able to show off. Mm. But I'll talk about it after I do this. Dum da da dum da da do. Every day is a lucky day with Happy Lucky Lottery. With new numbers every day, this lottery is fun and exploding with excitement. I'd love to tell you more. Get Imagine, lost? Like you talk to this guy and then you just, like he's like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm talking about his business. They, they just like get lost. Ooh, is that so unhappy? Yes, that's too bad. Well, come back when you feel like playing the happy lucky lottery. It's so sad. What? Like that face is so sad. Every day's lucky day would have a lucky lottery. I'm glad to see you again. What can I do for you? I explain again, or explain for the first time. That's the way. Happy lucky lottery is so special. You pick numbers. Wow. <laughs> they might win each day. Just buy your numbers here, one at a time. Buy another if you change your mind. Then check again later on this board to see if your number has gone in. If, you're, if your number matches the day's draw, you get a super happy lucky prize. The day's number is drawn each night at midnight. That seems very inconvenient. Why midnight? If you play and check the board every day, your number is sure to come up eventually. And when you and when I say midnight, I mean according to your Nintendo GameCube clock. <laughs> Why the fuck? So go ahead, buy a number. Only ten coins for new customers. Who wouldn't buy one for ten coins? Need anything else? Um, well, 10 coins is really cheap, so I want a number. You're going to buy a number? Happy! Lucky! It's only 10 coins for new customers! So please give me 10 coins! <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks for your business! Now here's your number. Hmm, that's a low number. 0185. Hmm, okay. You can use the same number until you win the jackpot. Play lucky unhappy. Go ahead and check the board right now just to see if you've won. I'm gonna guess no, but happy lucky lottery board. Bomb -bom lottery rules. Jackpot. All numbers match. Second prize: three numbers match. Third prize: two numbers match. Fourth prize. One number matches. Today's winning number. Today's... Oh, that's actually got pretty one. close, but dang. Is zero gonna, gonna count? Well, of course. Nope. Oh. I think it starts at the right. I'm sorry, it's an unlucky day. No matches today. But every day brings a new chance to try again, okay? Here's a consolation prize. It's a mushroom. Come again tomorrow. <laughs> so how much oh. does it cost if you buy a second one? 100 coins, I think. That is absolute insanity. I want a number. See? Also, that is a scam because it resets the timer for you to win. And I think you need to wait at the minimum 65 days to even get the ability to get a win. Jesus. Yes, I know. That might not be 100% right, but it's close. It's a complete scam, basically. The boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, I'll toss you like that? I'm a chuckster. That's Vaco? Rocco of the Piantas. He's the muscle that keeps the parlor moving slowly. Uh, smoothly. Smoothly. <laughs> or slowly. <laughs> 
He's new to the Pianda Syndicate. I think he's still low man on the totem pole. Look, I've been to Delfino Island and I don't think they have totem poles. Anyway, let's gamble. Oh, they have a Game Boy! That's a the scoreboard! Do the score to Jack! I love the playing game. There's not a level of me on that board. Hello. That's a parlor customer. Oh. I think she leaves her hubby home with the kids so she can play here all day long. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's healthy. I love fucking my scores on this machine after playing games. I'm here all day! Well, if my husband is worried about me, oh, don't be silly, he doesn't mind. <laughs> as long as he's riding, he doesn't know what anyone else does. Cool. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> What, me? I'm on top of the world, baby. You sound like it. What's that now? You wanna know how to get a member's card, do you? Well, let's see. Maybe if you help someone in trouble, they'll give it to you. I didn't know about this guy. I thought yeah. you just had to stumble upon the uh, hmm. member cards. That's a good who really likes this parlor. He always seems to be in a good mood. I wouldn't mind winning like he does every now and then. Lucky stiff. Lucky stiff. Is that another expression that I've never heard of and you're gonna be like, Really, fat guy? I think you can call someone a stiff. That is true. I've heard that before. Psst. This place is run by Tom Pianta. <gasps> what? Because it's called Pianta Parlor. Oh my god. We can play fun games in here. I want Pianta tokens to redeem for prizes. Kind of like a parlor. Yeah. Like to win. So are you, you told me nothing. This, so I could couldn't have derived from the name. Of the so are, you, are, are you saying the Pianta Parlor is a parlor run by Piantas? <laughs> That's a parlor customer. She's a squeak. It looks like. Get to see a girl in here. Oh, Wait, we how just do you talked know? to one. It's a good sign if this place is safe enough for regular <laughs> folks to go to. Wait, there's literally more women in here than men. Yeah, there's one guy. <laughs> there's literally yes. one single guy here. How do you know he's single, Lenny? Rude. Well, do you see any other people next to him? It's just him. Hello. Oh my! Customers aren't allowed back here. Oh, okay. What? You want to learn a little more about me? Yes. <laughs> well, I'm in charge of the parlor center, silly. I know all there is to know about this place, so if you have a question, just ask. You are hoping for more personal information? Uh, uh, fine, whatever. Don't do this to anybody in real life, please. That is very bad. I'm 18. Good! My favorite food is honey shrooms. The rest is a secret. I'm glad you're 18. Anyway, what are you doing tonight? If you get a high score in one of the meeting games, maybe I'll tell you more. So you're into games you like? You're, she's into gamers, guys. She might be your, your, your chance. Hey, hey, you're Mario! Wait. Like, the one and only? I know all about you! Wait, you know all about me and I can't know all about you? Rescue Princess Peach is important work, but even heroes need relaxation. So what can I show you? Uh... uh winnings. You can trade in the piantas you want for prizes. Nice. And some of our prizes can't be found anywhere else. Oh my god, they have cake mix. Like, imagine if you could only <laughs> buy cake mix by going to, the casino. to like a casino. Yeah. It's like, uh -huh. it's like, oh yeah, we're having a potluck. And like, oh, I was going to make a cake. Oh, Fuck, I need to go gamble oh, no. again. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Guess I'm gambling slots. today. Bye, Rocco. Love you. I love you too. <laughs> Wow, this town may be full of rogues and pucks, but this part sure feels safe. Does it? Don Pianta does such a good job of managing things, I feel totally safe shopping here. Shopping... for dry shrooms? That's a toad from the west side. Yes. She's a big theater goer, and apparently she's also a raving fan of flurries. 
Who's Flurry? I don't know. <laughs> ah, I do like this place with this little flower garden and fountain. And this guy likes it too. Oh, how refreshing. This is my favorite place. It's the only peaceful area in all of Rogueport. That's Gomez the Goomba. He must be totally tired. He's always resting here. Who can blame him though? We could all use some downtime. Am I right? Hell yeah. Anyway, let's go find the husband. And tell him his wife is a bitch. Hello, your mother is probably a bitch. Yes, she is. My dad's writing a novel. But it'll never sell. It's terrible. <clears throat> okay. That's brutally honest. I think this kid lives here, seeing as he's inside the house. <laughs> <laughs> he just comes in. Yeah. He's afraid to go outside, so he spends all day in here. He's got some family issues, I think, but it's not our place to stick our noses in. Kids this age tend to over-dramatize their problems anyway. Know what I mean? Also, that remind me of like the joke with Mario's nose in the Game Boy Advance SP. Yeah. And that in the remake, we have seen that front-facing Mario does have the bigger nose, nose from uh, Origami King. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. My wife spends all day in the parlor, so I never get anywhere on my novel. I need to go off to places I've, I've never seen to get inspired to write or something. That guy's a frustrated novelist. He's got great ideas, but he ruins them on paper. I think he just psychs himself out. I mean, he's got the talent and all. But I think he just plagiarizes all of these books. But That is a serious accusation. That is me. Wait a second. What? Actually, I don't know, but could it potentially be that later in the game, this guy writes Luigi's books <gasps> for him and he's a ghostwriter? I actually oh don't know, but that might become the case. Okay, wait, we need to follow up on this. Yeah. Uh, excuse me? And, and if that is the case, I don't want anyone in the comments to talk about it because yeah, if it don't. is, I want to be surprised and be like, oh my god, it is a thing. Also, this is not how you use like a, a lounging chair. You don't stand on it. There's a holder dead, windows a whale, while I loaf in bed, doing nothing. Oh well, I am rich after all. Damn. Wow, fuck you. That Koopa lives here. He must have been born lucky because he always succeeds. He says she was born lucky. He says I was lucky to be born. He has all the money he'll ever need. I think he's still unfulfilled somehow. Somehow? Hmm. Then again, it doesn't surprise me, since he spends all day in bed. But Just goes to show, he can't buy happiness, and you should occasionally leave bed. I don't know, he probably has some amazing leg muscles, just... Constantly flexing there. Standing in bed. Imagine if you're like, oh man, I, I don't want to go out today, and just T-posing on your... Standing on your bed all day. <laughs> That's just, worse than lounging in bed all day. Just slightly bobbing up and down, standing on your tippy toes. Mm -hmm. Did I did I uh, fulfill your wishes of tattling the people of Rogueport? Yes. Of West Side Lane? Mm -hmm. Also, I don't want to say anything, but that obvious PNG instead of 3D uh, backdrop right there looks really bad. What are you talking about? It's... <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like the worst one in the game. It looks so bad. It's just a very anyway. crunchy train. Yeah. No, it's not crunchy anymore. Look at that. Oh, wow. Hello, Mr. Fish. Glistening. I'm glistening. Well, this book goes to Glitzville. Will you be joining us on our flight today? No. We look forward to your next flight on cheap blimps. I don't. That's Stewart, the blimp conductor. His job is to check blimp passengers' tickets. Excuse me, it's Stuart. I hear he loved the sea even as a child and wanted to become a sailor. What? But now he's sailing the skies instead. I guess his dream sort of came true, huh? He's like an air sailor or something. Imagine a fish wanting to become a sailor. And then ending up being an air blimp conductor. Being a, like, you, you, basically, you live in the ocean. And then you're like... I want to be on top of the ocean, but then you end up above the ocean. 
Crazy I'll tell you, I like just standing in and gazing at the train more than I would like riding it. Cause if I were to ride it, I would get those old cool lids made at your looks. Yeah, looky at this better. If I just could afford a ticket, I might ride it at once. Oh god, it's a train otaku. Oh yeah, true. Oh, That's Porter, Porter, the station manager here in Rogueport. He checks train tickets. I hear he loves trains so much that he has like a billion model trains at home. That's awesome. Maybe he's just using his adulthood to buy all the things he wanted as a kid. Haha, <laughs> wow, what's the, uh, that's crazy. Who would ever do that, huh? Yeah, what, that that just that's just insane. Haha, <laughs> this is so funny. I say looking at all my Lego sets that I bought. Yeah, my view is pretty good too over here. To my left, I just see shelves full of like figures, collector's editions, mm -hmm. uh, all that. And when I look to the right, I see a giant cardboard cappy. <laughs> I feel like dream. life's pretty good right now. Living the life. Mm -hmm. uh, you gotta love train platforms, man. I bet this place has seen as many dramatic encounters as there are stars in space. I don't think so. Oh, the thought of it all. I just love it. This girl's always here. She's fixated on romantic scenes in train stations. I see where she comes from. Train station platforms do have that romantic air. Not this one. The ground's all grungy. That's Lackey. A train-loving Lackey, too. All this guy does is sit here and watch trains. Well, he does have a very nice cloud to sit on. I'm sure you'd love to ride the Excess Express, but he can't afford a ticket. It'd be cool if he just saved up enough to ride just once in his life, you know? Poor guy. I hope so. I hope so too. Keep the dream alive. Keep uh, that dream alive. Alright, we did our... Rogue port... Tattle sesh. Paddle sesh, exactly. Also, sometimes Mario slows down. I don't know if you noticed that. Where sometimes Mario starts walking like that before he continues on. And that's because my control stick is actually... Oh. Maybe I can remove it and get some dirt out of there or something. Hmm. I feel like sometimes it doesn't... Uh, or sometimes, like, even when I'm just walking, Mario might suddenly start walking like that. Oh, so, weird. Well, this is my original GameCube controller, Lenny. Yeah, it's I mean... more than 20 years old. <laughs> Goddamn. It's been with me through thick and thin. Damn. That said, everybody, um, love you, be safe.